won't be getting a special handshake anytime soon? Trump's nominee to head the VA, White House physician and astronaut who's just not the same since he came back, <laughs> Dr. Ronnie Jackson. The Senate has a postponed Jackson's confirmation hearing in part because the Veterans Affairs Committee is examining allegations that Jackson oversaw a hostile work environment and allowed the overprescribing of drugs. Mr. President, open your mouth and say, ah, now put this on your tongue. We're going to the planetarium! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and some planetarium yeah, fans. Wow. Wow. We're seeing Laser Floyd. There are also claims that Dr. Jackson drank too much on the job. Yes. Which for a doctor, I'm going to say is any. Because I don't care what you do, it is never okay to drink on the job. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Hey. <laughs> okay, okay. But in my defense, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> Okay, so how did Trump miss these warning signs when he nominated Jackson to run the second largest government agency? Apparently, the White House did little or no vetting of his background before announcing his nomination on Twitter. <laughs> the White House staff meant to vet him, but they were high on pills they got from some doctor who works there. <laughs> but he did have one important qualification. Trump thought he looked the part saying, he's like central casting, like a Hollywood star. It's true. Just like a Hollywood star, he's full of booze and pills and is unqualified to run the Veterans Administration. <laughs> but... That was really good. That was really good. But at his presser with Macron today, <laughs> Trump stood behind Jackson so he could shove him into traffic. I told Admiral Jackson just a little while ago, I said, what do you need this for? His family, extraordinary success, great doctor, great everything, and he has to listen to the abuse that he has to... I wouldn't, if I were him. Actually, in many ways, I'd love to be him. But the fact is, I wouldn't do it. Admiral Jackson is supremely qualified. I was right to nominate him for this job, which is a hot pile of garbage that he would be a fool to accept. I wish I was him. <laughs> it is a nightmare, a living nightmare. It would be so great. It's, uh, it's also it's a great day for online shoppers, if you like shopping online, because Amazon now delivers to the trunk of your car. Oh. Yes, to the trunk of your car. It is perfect for small business owners who, because of Amazon, now have to live in their cars. <laughs> Prime members, Prime, Amazon Prime members would allow Amazon to electronically access their car trunks, all in order to thwart people who walk off with deliveries left outside homes, also known as porch pirates. <laughs> Arr, tis a grand hall, stealing your 200 pack of coffee filters <laughs> while you take your kids to karate. <laughs> dar, dar, parley. <laughs> and it's not just, really? Here's a gun. That's a good part. That's a good part. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, but you guys are a cheap date. And. <laughs> It's not just your trunk. Last year, they introduced something called Amazon Key, which remotely opens your door for them when you're not there. Amazon, this is getting weird. <laughs> you're slipping into our lives in ways no one's asking you to. I'm afraid the next time I order underwear, I'll get a message saying, look down, we already put them on you. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Hank Azaria is here, but when we return, a Republican so dangerous, even Republicans are against him. Yeah.